I'm moving. I'm moving. No, that's not great. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just sit here. So. A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Faisal Fa Fa Faisal. I don't know. Um, funnily enough, I'd never heard of her. I thought, but then I I saw there like also by this author. We hunt the flame and we free the stars. I've heard about these books. I've seen them around. So how have I missed this author's name? I don't know. I saw this. Um, it wasn't out yet, but I saw this like around Yalk last year. Uh, it was like promos and stuff. This book is coming out and whenever it's coming out. <laughs> I don't keep track of everything in my brain, okay. So I was like, ooh, this looks like an interesting title. T. Looks kind of London-y, Gothic, Victorian era ish it's not i don't think this is our world at all is it said somewhere not here <laughs> okay so a long time ago um arthi and jen they were living on the streets for different reasons um basically family's dead yes they found each other sort of adopted each other as brother and sister and then arthi made up a uh, surname for them so they became family so for all intents and purposes they are brother and sister family through and through that was then now they are um they run a tea house so tea house by day blood house by night so basically during the day they serve tea to the rich more or less and then during the night everything changes and turns into well a, a den for vampires to pay to drink blood uh it, um, yeah basically that <laughs> So they, they, they're kind of criminal, but also not. They're sort of in between, but they are criminal people. Um, but the, the good kind, the kind we like. <laughs> and then we also follow a girl called Flick. Now Flick, uh, she, she was adopted by a lady. What's her title again? She, she's like the head of the economy or something i don't know i don't remember but basically um she comes from money um uh, but then her mother sort of becomes you know distant and 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 all that and flick kind of becomes a criminal as well so she starts to become a forger um <laughs> a very good one at that um so when we first meet Flick, anyway, she is about to be arrested and put in jail. But is she supposed to be like executed or anything like that? I don't remember. Anyway, she's about to be arrested and put in jail. But uh, Jen, he kind of rescues her in the middle of the transfer, as it were, and all that. So Flick is now with the gang. So <laughs> this story, basically... Uh, one night, because the tea house slash blood house, it's called something else, but I'm calling it blood house now. It's about to be shut down by the government. <laughs> um, and they must do just about, they will do just about anything to keep, keep, to keep this place. Because it is their home. It is, it is what they've built um quite literally they built this place <laughs> but one night um arthi gets a little visitor who says that if we can steal this lodger lodger if we can steal this i want to say lodger 
If we can steal this book that base that belongs to the head of the government. Oh, I forget his name. Um, the head of the government. Let's call him that. <laughs> Cause that's the name. Um then we can like blackmail him to you know put everything right more or less um the only thing is this this notebook <laughs> this ledger <laughs> not lodger <laughs> this ledger is um in <laughs> the den of the vampires so basically um it's like in the most secure dangerous place you can think of because of course you know put some uh, put, put some like make it a bit difficult you know can't make it easy no um so, <laughs> so basically they have to do a heist so <laughs> a lot of the book is it gave me six of crows vibes it gave me Six of Crows vibes so badly, um, but in a good way, in a good way. It is its own uh, story, it doesn't like have that same Six of Crow feel to it. I mean it does and it doesn't, uh, but the characters are vastly different um, from those books, so that's the whole thing. So we have tea, we have vampires, we have heist. What more do we need? Well, we kind of needed for this book to be a standalone and not a series. Because <laughs> that's what I thought. I thought I was picking up a standalone, but no, it's a series and the next book doesn't come out until like a year and a half. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in myself <laughs> but also I bloody love this book and I cannot wait to get the next installment uh mind blown mind blown need it <sighs> hopefully it's just a duology because I cannot be waiting a year and a half no also i do really want to pick up um the other two books we hunt a flame and we free the stars um because if the writing in those are anything like this then i'm here for it i'm here for it yes